those three really fast flying jets up there. It doesn't look like anything I've ever seen. Whatever it is, is eight feet tall. If this video is real, it could turn everything we know on its head. The proof is out there. New episode, Friday, June 9th at 10, only on the History Channel. There's Jeff. What's up, Tony? So great to talk to you again for a new season of The Proof is Out There. It's always a thrill. Being from Las Vegas, you know, my city has a lot of interest in what you do, my friend. Wow. <laughs> you know, I'm wondering, I'd have to rack my brain a bit, yeah, but I'm sure there's something from Vegas in this in these new episodes that we're dropping because it's one of the hotbeds. It's like New Mexico, obviously. It's um it's actually mexico itself is another hotbed vegas obviously is a hotbed i mean your former senator you know set aside a whole bunch of of, of money so that uh, congress could look at this in a serious way um so yeah yeah i'm sure vegas makes a, an appearance or two in in these new episodes awesome well new season caught on camera is all the rage now in the headlines we're taking a deep dive this season to find answers is there any particular story that stands out for you this season so I want to I want to find out what you might be interested in or what you think your audience might even be interested in. How about uh, disembodied heads <laughs> that you wouldn't want your hands too close to, right? How about some new and compelling Loch Ness video of perhaps the monster? Um, what about a yellow brick road to what many believe could be the lost city of Atlantis. Does that interest you at all? Mm, let me see, let me see. So we did a story last season about the Pittsburgh boom that made headlines all over the country. We update that story uh, in these new episodes. So if any of those areas are of interest to you, I think you know where to be. It's just the proof is out there. It's Fridays at, at 10 on the History Channel. Well, you know, the Pentagon officially recognizes UAPs, even holding hearings, yes. you know, that F-18 encounter. What does that mean? Does that mean all it did, oh. what does it take to change the name UFO to UAP and the government's behind it now? Yes. yes. I mean, it's, you know, unidentified aerial phenomena now, right? Um, yeah, I think, uh, as you know, this is a really exciting time in this so more more generally to your question i mean this is we had the disclosure report what a year maybe a, a year and a little more ago um and i think what was really the most interesting about that is what was redacted we knew there was more information and uh even as even as we're talking today if you if you google whistleblower and um you know alien intelligence right you will be bombarded with a whole bunch of new reporting in this space, even as we're speaking now. So absolutely, it's an area that we're always going to be interested in. It's whenever we get video and whenever we're able to access military video, you can believe that it's going to be at the top of the show for us. And, and this is just an exciting time. I mean, what's the potential of the information that's coming out now to be a game changer or a life changer? Right. And, and and to reshape the way we think about our place in the universe and and the world that we live in. So I just think it's an exciting time. And I I, I feel ridiculously fortunate that I, I land on this show, not something that I ever saw as being a part of my career as I was pursuing the career. But to be in this space now at, at, at an exciting time is just remarkable. And one of the last places I thought would be a hotbed for this kind of phenomenon is Orange County, California, but it has a long history of sightings. And there's a father and son encounter about a flying metallic object that's that's just taken the county by storm. Yeah, and everyone everyone wants to say it's a balloon, right? Everybody wants to say it's a balloon. And 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 so yeah, we take a look at that. And which leads me to, to get an opportunity, thank you, to talk about what I think is the real strength of the show. It's our ability to to sort of take this video that you know checks a couple of boxes for us it's it's compelling it's thought provoking uh we don't know what it is at first blush it it has some link to a broader history right of of these kinds of sightings right this father and son sighting there have been a lot of sightings and, and a lot of video and 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 i guess the third thing it does is it gives us an opportunity to challenge our experts we've got you know world-class experts on this this program it, it gives us a chance to challenge them you know, all right, 
put smart person, put your hat on and tell us what this thing is. And then we render that verdict. So, you know, videos like that will continue to come to us, I'm sure. You know, people lost their minds with the with the Chinese balloons, right? Now everything's a balloon or everything's a, a, a UAP. And, and the great position that we sit in is that we get to be able to take it apart and and, and give you a pretty honest assessment of what we're seeing. And especially with the title of your show, the proof is out there. It's no other time in history. Everybody's armed with a cell phone. Everybody can Thank you. proof, right? Thank you. I mean, that's that's in addition to in addition to the experts, the idea that, you know, the really smart people at History Channel who know their who know their audience like no other, that, that they came up with this concept for the show and said, maybe there's a way for us to crowdsource this thing. Right. And so you never know how a show like this will land. So you do it, you test it and you, you, you and, and then you pilot it and then you put it on the air and then you hold your breath and you you hope that people will will find it, like it and participate. Right. The conceit is that, you know, you're going to take your camera out for us and you're going to if you see something, you will we've planted that in your head that if you see something unusual that you'll whip out your phone and, you know, don't put yourself in any danger, obviously, but but that you'll you'll take this video and you'll get it to us and you know we'll analyze it and you know touch wood the audience has been wonderful they found us they like what we're doing and you know they love engaging with us and and we we move them in some way shape or form that they want to interact with us which is you know what you hope for in a show is that you know you move people to action and so we feel incredibly lucky and the, the smart people at history have done it again well, Tony, congratulations on a new season. And uh, you don't need a UAP to come visit us in Las Vegas, you know, so we'd love to have you. <laughs> oh, what a, what a wonderful invitation. Yeah, I love Vegas. And, and thanks for having me on. It's great my to see you. My pleasure. You too. Take care. You too.